Lower respiratory tract infections are the leading cause of death for all adults worldwide. Similarly, pneumonia in children is probably the number one cause of death, again worldwide. And pneumonia in all age groups are a huge challenge to us doctors. Pneumonia usually presents with cough, with or without phlegm. Sometimes the person may complain of chest pain and there is also a fever. The person may also have the person usually presents with cough, with or without phlegm, fever, and he may also complain of chest pain. Some people may also develop breathlessness when they have pneumonia. It is very important that we differentiate pneumonia from an upper respiratory infection like sinusitis or bronchitis, which may also present with fever and cough, because in general, most cases of bronchitis or, pneumo or sinusitis are caused by viral infections and they do not require antibiotics, whereas pneumonia very often requires antibiotics. So who gets pneumonia? In general, the problems of pneumonia are more common in children who are very young, under the age of 5, or people who are very elderly, what we refer to as the extremes of age group, people over the age of 65. Apart from this, adults who may have underlying illnesses like either heart disease or other complications like kidney, uh, lung, uh, kidney, kidney or liver disease are prone to develop complications of pneumonia. In general, pneumonia can be caused by either bacterial, uh, bacteria like Streptococcus pneumoniae, Moraxella or sometimes what we refer to as atypical bacteria also can cause pneumonia. Viral causes of pneumonia may contribute up to one third of cases of pneumonia. How does one decide that a person who presents with pneumonia needs hospitalization? There are very clear guidelines given based on the clinical presentation of fever, cough, uh, breathlessness and also underlying issues depending on age and other system functioning to decide whether the person requires hospitalization. But it is very important that patients who are suspected to have pneumonia, usually a bacterial cause, be started on antibiotics at the earliest. There are several antibiotics which are recommended for people which can be given and they respond very well. But the problems are more severe, especially in the elderly age group where patients above the age of 70 or 75 may run into serious complications due to pneumonia. In fact, pneumonia is often refer referred to as the captain of death and several people who are elderly may die due to pneumonia. So it is very important to understand that pneumonia can cause serious complications and needs urgent evaluation. Is there any way in which you can prevent the occurrence of pneumonia? Yes. Pneumococcal vaccine is routinely recommended in children who are young under the age of 5 and similarly in patients over the age of 65. Apart from this, the pneumococcal vaccine is also recommended for people with underlying heart, lung, liver or kidney disease who may develop complications with pneumonia even if they are otherwise reasonably healthy. The flu vaccine is recommended every year to ensure that the flu, which is actually a viral illness, sometimes may lead on to a bacterial superinfection and a pneumonia can happen. Apart from this prevention of smoking and ensuring that you stay away from air pollution are also important adjuncts in prevention of pneumonia. So please keep in mind that pneumonia can be a serious problem, especially in the extremes of age group. People with pneumonia have to present to a doctor and ensure that they are treated adequately. At the same time, it is also important not to abuse antibiotics for all simple upper respiratory infections and cold, which may also present with sometimes fever and cough and Please speak to a doctor before you decide to take antibiotics. Thank you.